Hello and welcome to a brand new series of Let's Play Planet Coaster here on Theme Park Worldwide. Now you may have followed my previous series of this game where I built a theme park called Volcano Springs. It was built across 30 different episodes and it started way back when Frontier actually first released Planet Coaster in November 2016. Since then, this game has really come on a lot and I'd like to think that my building skills have come on quite a lot too. Uh, but there's still a lot to learn uh, with building, especially when Planet Coaster keep releasing brand new content packs. And as you can see with the title of this video, it is going to be a studios based park. This is using the brand new DLC that was released on Tuesday uh, earlier this week. So it's a brand new DLC, which is an add on to the game, which is $7.99 to purchase in the Steam Workshop. And that means you get loads of special things, including a few new rides. You can see one of them uh, just here that I'll talk about in a moment, which is the tram tour. And you also get lots of new theming and scenery items as well. Uh, it, it's amazing actually how much you get for $7.99. Uh, they've released quite a few different content packs now. They did an adventure one, so they'll be putting that to good use in this park. And uh, yeah, it's going to be studios based. It's not going to be anywhere near the size of Volcano Springs, but it's going to be a lot more detailed because I'm going to be doing a lot more indoor dark rides. Because obviously it's a studios based park, I'm going to try and base it all off real films uh, and things things so I'm going to need your help with that one to decide on themes and things um, but yeah it's going to be studios based I'm looking forward to creating it and this episode really is all about putting together the entrance area and of course the start of the, the trackway for this tram tour uh, which will be one of the highlights of the park so you can see the tram tour there it's using the same style track as what you get with the vintage cars ride and here I didn't really have a plan with the layout to be honest uh, this can be changed and probably will be changed on numerous occasions I just wanted to put it in because in my opinion this should be the flagship ride at this park uh, now there's been quite a f I've done quite a few of these studio tram tours uh, anybody remember Hollywood Studios at Walt Disney World uh, the one they had there was fantastic it even had a couple of live scenes before you even got on it uh, which was great uh, I did obviously done the one at Paris which is still there at Walt Disney Studios uh, still there for now anyway obviously that is going to be changing when they open uh, Frozen Star Wars and Marvel Land because that whole area is going to be changing. There's going to be a massive lake put on there. Uh, and then of course I've done the one at Universal Studios in Hollywood which is fantastic. It's by far my favourite uh, tram tour that I've done. Uh, it's brilliant and it takes you around all the different set pieces around all the streets where Back to the Future was filmed. Definitely going to be some Back to the Future in this as well. Uh, and I'm open to suggestions really in terms of uh, themes and movie ideas. If you've watched a lot of my videos and vlogs and things, especially when I've been uh, over to parks like Universal. I don't really know a lot about films and stuff, so I'm really gonna need your help. But for some reason, I love studios-based parks. For me, it's more been about the special effects and seeing behind the scenes of the films as to why I've really liked them. And with this, I really wanna put in a lot of these new scenery items from the DLC, but also use a lot of the stuff that was already in the game to combine it to build a really heavily detailed theme park. And in terms of the areas and things with this, uh, then it's not gonna be directly themed areas, but I want to make sure it's still split off into some kind of segment. So I don't just want it to be like uh, Universal, for example, where a lot of it is, is just rides what I've put in different areas, especially around the entrance. With this, I all kind of want it to have the same sort of feel uh, in each area. Uh, like if it's a horror area, Yes, there'll be different rides based on different films and things, but I still want it all to be horror in that section, if you see what I mean. Uh, and when with this entrance, which I'm starting now, you can see I've put one building in there. I start to put more buildings in shortly and cover up the queue line there uh, to the tram tour. I want a really big indoor queue line with loads of set pieces and things, and that's something I'll work on uh, in a few episodes time. Uh, like I said, I've just put that in as like a marker uh, with it being a signature attraction to sort of build the entrance and put all these buildings in all around as well. So a lot of people said in the comments of the last series, how do I get the inspiration uh, when I'm building these parks and how do I know where to put buildings and rides and shops and all that kind of stuff? To be honest, I just use uh, what I've seen from different theme parks, put it all together uh, to create this. I mean, this entrance that I've got here uh, is gonna be a Mediterranean style set. Um, so obviously I think about where I've been, uh, what's got that Mediterranean style theme. Uh, the first thing that springs into my head is Port Ventura, and obviously the main entrance 
area there, Mediterranean. Uh, you've got all the lovely buildings, which are this same sort of color what I'm doing here. Uh, you've got the lake. Um, you know, so I, I sort of look at what other parks I've been to and then think about how I'm going to adapt it to that theme. Obviously, Port Aventura has nothing to do with a studios-based park. Uh, but with this, I thought, right, I want my uh, studio's entrance to be a Mediterranean set. And what the plan is with this is to have all your different shops and things down the right-hand side. Uh, you can see that I'm just putting the building now around the queue line uh, for the tram tour. And yeah, it's just about winging it, really, and putting things together and seeing how they work. Uh, now, I find it easier personally, and a little tip for you if you are playing this game, and then instead of building individual buildings and going really heavily detailed on them straight away, it's actually putting in your footprint for a whole area or at least a few buildings at a time. And that's exactly what I'm doing here. And I did do that as well uh, when I built Volcano Springs in the last series. So I've kind of got an idea what things are going to be here. And I'm sure you can work it out without me explaining. Uh, but you've got on the, on the left hand side of the screen now, that's the entrance. In the middle there, that's going to be a staff room. Obviously, that's something what uh, has been implemented since the the last series you can have staff rooms and things now and you need that uh, to operate your shops and restaurants I, I, I didn't feel like I did enough on operations in the last series and I won't actually be waiting until the end of the series to open this park it's actually going to be opening after I've done a few rides and, and seeing how it goes from there obviously I had a lot of issues uh, in the last series with the frames per second hence why I had to cut it a bit short and towards the end uh, you know I, I was kind of losing motivation with the park really because it wouldn't run uh, very well on my computer which was such a shame. Uh, but with this one, it's going to be a lot smaller, but a lot more heavily detailed. And uh, I'm sure you guys are going to like it when it's done. I really hope so anyway. And I hope it inspires you as well with the studio's pack. Um, so now you can see here then, I'm working on what is going to be a really nice seating area. I'm feeling like some benches, some umbrellas and things here, uh, you know, where you can look out over this lovely lake. And then on the lake itself, there's going to be a roller coaster just to the left hand side of it. Obviously, I don't want the coaster to be too intrusive on the main entrance, uh, but I still want it to be really impressive. And you'll see later on in the episode, I do put in the entrance archways, and I want the coaster just to sit, uh, you know, in the background on the left-hand side, and the highlight of the area, really, uh, being that coaster and the Mediterranean village sort of sitting together really nicely. You can see here, I'm just putting in some more seating area. Uh, you know, that will all be, uh, have benches and umbrellas on just for people to uh, sit out there and enjoy the views across the lake. Don't plan on putting anything else on the lake other than the coaster. I know you can get some really nice boat rides and things now in this game, but I'm gonna plan on saving them until a little bit later on because I've already got a couple of ideas. Uh, I've got lots of ideas flowing for this park, but as always, I'm open to suggestions. I'll be asking you guys to name the rides and, uh, and stuff as as well so all you need to do is comment below on this video with your suggestions and the first thing I'm asking you guys is what do you think should be the name of this theme park uh, for now it's just the TPW studio park uh, but I really want it to be more than that I want it to have a really good name and um, so all you need to do is comment down below and as always I'll be looking through the best ones and picking one uh, in next episode here on the channel and um, so here we go you can now start to see uh, I'm putting in another building this is going to be sort of the end of the Mediterranean area and that will be the queue line uh, for the actual roller coaster and the station is going to be indoors as well I'm seeing the launch coaster it's going to launch out onto the lake and I look forward to building that in the next episode and um, so there we go I'm now starting to put in the entrance archway uh, to the studios park now every studio park that I've been to around the world has got a really nice entrance and especially Disney's Hollywood Studios over at Walt Disney World you've got the whole Hollywood Boulevard section all the palm trees, looks really nice and then at the bottom you've got the Chinese theatre uh, which I really like uh, with this I want something similar at the bottom not a Chinese theatre but something really iconic uh, at the bottom of the archway there and at the bottom of that main street. Uh, moving on then from that you've got Movie Park Germany that's got like a, a nice entrance arch Archway, not quite as nice as what you get at uh, Walt Disney World um, but yeah you know and then you got Universal they've got really nice archways that's quite iconic isn't it really uh, with that being at all the different Universal parks around the world they've got that grand archway and with this I want it to be sort of inspired by all of those together not directly copying one of them um, but putting it all together really and using my own uh, sort of imagination and with that Mediterranean style theme as well with the colour scheme and you can really start to see now already um, what 
are we in? We're about 10 minutes in. And you can already start to see how this entrance is going to come together. And in terms of the episodes, I'm going to try and get them out there a lot quicker this time. I want a lot more progression in the episodes. I felt like with the last series, sometimes, you know, I focus way too long on one thing. With this, I'll be doing most of it sped up, uh, apart from a few things where I won't do it sped up, like the coaster building and things, uh, which I will do partially in real time and, uh, and partially sped up. Um, but yeah, you know, with this one, I want to try and get on with it as quick as I can do, really. And I'm really starting to like the look of this already. Like I say, it's just about messing about, really, and putting different buildings in and footpaths and seeing how it goes. Uh, now you can see here, I start to put in what will soon be the guest services building. And this will have a couple of archways on the front as doors, all following on from that theme of the archways at the entrance to the studio's park. Uh, like I say, in the next episode, uh, which will be on next week at some point, I'm going to be putting the roller coaster in, uh, the big coaster, what's going to go over the lake, and that is going to be some sort of launch coaster. So keep your suggestions coming in for that one, along with name ideas for the park. Uh, the episode after that is when I'm going to work on the details on these buildings. Uh, now, these are going to be some of my most detailed buildings I've ever built in Planet Coaster. Like I say first, I like to sort of put in the footprint and see where things are going and then I'll work on the details such as doors, windows and all that kind of stuff. Uh, you'll see in this episode in a couple of minutes I do put the roofs on uh, but again that's subject to change. I more just wanted to test the water really and just see how it looked before I went and did all the heavy details on things. So these roofs that I put on in a moment probably will stay like that uh, but some of them might be changed and I might add a bit more detailing onto them as well such as chimneys and all that kind of stuff. I really want to make the most of the special effects uh, in this series as well. There's some great special effects in this game and uh, I don't feel like I used them to the full potential with the last series as well. Uh, but you live and learn, don't you, really? And with this, I've learned so much with Planet Coaster. I've watched a lot of other people's Let's Play videos and I must say there's some great stuff out there, especially in the Steam Workshop. I've loved watching it and I definitely recommend checking out uh, a lot of different Planet Coaster videos because there's so much out there and people have done some amazing stuff with this game. Uh, anyway, I'm going to shut up for a couple of minutes, leave you with a bit of theme park music, and then I'll come back and talk more about this park.
course, it wouldn't be a studio's park without a water tower. My favourite one of these that I've seen is actually not far away. It's at uh, Walt Disney Studios in Paris, uh, where you've got the water tower. That's actually called the Eiffel Tower. Because obviously you're in Paris, France, Eiffel Tower. Uh, yeah, it's called the Eiffel Tower, and it's got Mickey Mouse ears on the side, which I think is great. I really like the look of that. Uh, so that's just sat there right near to the entrance, and of course, the lake that I've put in here as well. As you can see now, the hashtag rock work is coming in. Uh, now, I won't be putting loads of rocks around this entrance, but I will be putting still quite a few in, because A, I like the rocks, and B, I just think it adds quite a nice bit of texture, especially with the Mediterranean-inspired entrance that I'm putting in here. Uh, I'm going to mix this in with palm trees, lots of different bits of shrubbery and things as well. And uh, yeah, it's going to fit in really nicely. In terms of the trees and things as well, that's something I'm going to experiment with in this park as well. Obviously, with this studio-based park, you know, it's not supposed to be in a tropical area, so to speak. Uh, this is more just themed with all the trees and everything to be a tropical area. Um, but I'm planning on putting lots of indoor stuff in, like I say. Uh, you know, it might even be based in Britain, this park. I like to think it should be a British park, maybe. Um, so maybe bear that in mind when you're thinking about all these different uh, themes for movies and stuff. Um, but yeah, the trees will change around the park. Not all of it's going to be tropical palm trees and things. Like I say, that's just planting for this section uh, all around. Uh, but I'm pleased with it so far. The combination of trees, rocks, the water tower, the entrance archway, you can start to see it coming together now. Uh, and like I say, once I've done all the details on these buildings, put the shops in, uh, restrooms, all that kind of stuff, then I think it's going to look really good, actually. Uh, yeah, I didn't really have much of a plan with it. Sometimes I might draw something out on paper first, uh, just to uh, sort of plan a map for how things are going to go but with this one I've just kind of uh, winged it really and it looks quite good I'm pleased with it so far and uh, you'll start to soon get the feel for it something else I want to do in this series that I didn't do in the last one as well is think about audio and CCTV placement and all that kind of stuff as well so there's going to be a whole episode all about that uh, later on in the series so stay tuned for that one Anyway, as you can see, we're coming towards the end of this episode. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. It's great to be back to do another Planet Coaster series. I did say that it wasn't going to be long until the next one. It's only been a couple of months uh, since I ended Volcano Springs. Uh, but like I say, with this one, I want to complete it to its full potential, uh, something which I didn't do with Volcano Springs um, due to the lagging that it was getting. I put that much stuff into one park. It was a huge park with so many individual scenery items that it just couldn't cope, to be honest. So, you know, it's a shame but you know onwards and upwards and this is going to be a great park and I look forward to sharing it with you guys and a lot of you are going to be inspiring this park's creations over the next uh, few weeks as we start putting in more rides and areas and attractions you guys are going to be the ones inspiring this park uh, so make sure you keep coming back and uh, watching this series here on Theme Park Worldwide. I'd also like to say a big thank you to each and every one of you for the channel reaching 100,000 YouTube subscribers. I honestly can't believe it. Uh, it happened a couple of days ago now and I'm over the moon, I really am. Uh, so thank you to each and every one of you that's pressed that subscribe button here on Theme Park Worldwide. I look forward to continuing to bring you high quality content and of course our Let's Play Planet Coaster series uh, over the next few months as well. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. Of course I'll be back with another episode next week here on Theme Park Worldwide. I'm going to try my best to keep these as regular as I can do. I know you guys really like them. They always go down well. And uh, yeah thank you very much for watching. Come back next week and uh, we'll carry on. We'll put in a roller coaster and then the following week uh, I'll start to put in all the different theming on these buildings as well. I'm Sean Sandbrook, thank you very much for watching Let's Play Planet Coaster and that means it's time to cue those credits. See you soon.